The Boeing 737 MAX series of passenger aircraft was once the leader in the international civil aviation market and has been widely recognized around the world for its excellent performance and safety records. But in recent years, a series of fatal air crashes have dealt a huge blow to Boeing's reputation and financial health. After these accidents, global aviation regulators and airlines began to re-evaluate the safety of the Boeing 737 MAX. In the end, 23 countries and organizations, including China, Europe, and the United States, decided to ground the Boeing 737 MAX 9 passenger aircraft. This is another heavy blow for the troubled aviation giant. It is worth mentioning that since 2008, China has not only emerged as one of the world's largest civil aviation markets, but has also become a key customer of Boeing. However, starting in 2019, the combined effects of a series of air crashes and the Sino-US trade war have caused China's demand for the Boeing 737 MAX to drop sharply. For the next four years, China did not purchase any Boeing aircraft, which caused huge losses to Boeing. Facing a series of challenges, Boeing has also taken a series of measures to win the trust of the Chinese market, such as strengthening the safety performance of aircraft, improving service quality, and strengthening communication with the Chinese government. But unfortunately, these efforts did not seem to translate into actual orders from China for a long time. However, by 2024, the situation has changed positively, and Boeing delivered its first aircraft to China in four years. This not only brought a glimmer of hope to Boeing, but may also herald an important turning point in Sino-Polish relations. So what prompted China to reconsider Boeing aircraft? How will China's decision affect Boeing's future? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Boeing, as a giant in the American aviation manufacturing industry, occupies a dominant position in the global aviation market with its rugged and durable airframe, cutting-edge technology and continuous innovation. In the past five years, Boeing has delivered approximately 3,200 commercial passenger aircraft worldwide. On average, more than 600 Boeing aircraft are delivered to all parts of the world every year, becoming an important part of the fleets of major airlines, providing a safe and comfortable flight experience for passengers around the world. As of the end of 2023, Boeing's market share in the global aviation market is approximately 43%. From this data, we can see Boeing's leading position in the aviation industry. But in the process of its rapid development, Boeing has also encountered many challenges. In October 2018, a Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed during a Lion Air flight in Indonesia, killing 189 people. Then, five months later, another Boeing plane of the same model crashed in Ethiopia, killing 157 people. These two serious air crashes shocked the global aviation community and raised widespread questions about the safety of Boeing 737 MAX series aircraft. As one of the largest customers of the Boeing 737 MAX series aircraft, China was the first to announce the grounding of all domestic Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft in 2019. This move is to ensure the flight safety of the people. In the Chinese aviation market, Boeing 737 MAX accounts for as much as 45%. The decision to ground the aircraft has had a major impact on Boeing's supply chain. It is estimated that this decision cost Boeing approximately $6.1 billion. As 2024 approaches, Boeing unfortunately once again finds itself in the global spotlight. On January 5, a shocking accident occurred, a brand new Boeing 737 MAX 9 passenger aircraft of Alaska Airlines suddenly partially disintegrated while on a flight to California, USA. According to reports, a window and part of the side wall of the aircraft fell off, resulting in a huge hole in the side of the fuselage. The accident not only shocked the aviation community, but also quickly triggered global concerns about Boeing aircraft. Affected by this, 
23 countries, including China, the European Union, Canada, Australia, India and Singapore, responded quickly and decided to ground Boeing aircraft. According to statistics, the number of Boeing aircraft grounded this time is as high as thousands, covering many airlines and many routes. This decision not only brought huge economic pressure to the relevant airlines, but also caused serious capacity constraints in the global aviation market. But at this most critical moment, China has given Boeing a huge hope. What is going on? As a rapidly developing country, China has extremely huge demand for the aviation industry. For years, Boeing has considered China one of its most important markets. According to data, China invests more than 10 billion US dollars in Boeing aircraft every year, accounting for 10% of Boeing's global market share. But tensions in US-China relations, especially US sanctions and trade restrictions imposed on China in 2018 and 2019, have had a significant impact on Boeing sales. The changes have led some Chinese airlines to suspend cooperation with Boeing. Although the US Secretary of Commerce and the Secretary of the Treasury visited China in 2023, hoping to promote the sales of Boeing aircraft, China did not give a clear response at that time. But as time goes by, the situation on both sides now seems to have taken a new turning point. In December 2023, Boeing successfully delivered a 787-passenger aircraft to China. This passenger plane was ordered by China's Junyao Airlines from Boeing for 300 million US dollars in 2019 and was originally scheduled to be delivered in 2022. However, due to an accident involving a Boeing aircraft that year, China Junyao Airlines required Boeing to conduct additional inspections and confirmations to ensure the safety of the aircraft. Boeing responded to the request and, after careful manufacturing and rigorous testing processes, finally announced the successful completion of this important delivery task on December 22, 2023. It is particularly worth noting that this is the first time since 2019 that Boeing has redelivered large passenger aircraft to China, so what does this really mean? Over the past four years, Boeing's challenges in the Chinese market have been clear. Boeing has struggled in this key market as demand has stalled, resulting in huge financial losses. According to estimates by industry analysts, Boeing's loss of orders due to its inability to enter the Chinese market may be as high as $20.2 billion. Faced with this dilemma, Boeing has taken active measures to try to regain the favor of the Chinese market. Boeing executives have emphasized the importance of the Chinese market on multiple public occasions and predicted that by 2048, China is expected to become the world's largest aviation market, with a market size that may reach hundreds of billions of dollars. Now, Boeing has delivered a Boeing 787-9 aircraft to China's Junyao Airlines, which marks the restart of cooperation between Boeing and Chinese airlines. It is also a key step for Boeing to rebuild confidence and brand image in the Chinese market. However, if Boeing wants to achieve long-term success in the Chinese market, it needs to take more measures to meet China's interests and needs. For example, Boeing must strictly abide by Chinese laws and regulations when conducting business in China, including airworthiness certification and technical standards, to ensure the safety and reliability of its products. In addition, Boeing has strengthened its cooperation with Chinese airlines to deeply understand and meet the specific needs of the market and provide products and services that are more suitable for Chinese users. The most critical thing is that Boeing should also continue to improve product quality and technical level to meet the high standards and expectations of the Chinese market. In fact, Boeing should pay more attention to China's sovereignty and interests and avoid taking inappropriate actions against China under political pressure. On the contrary, Boeing should actively promote exchanges and cooperation between China and the United States to enhance mutual understanding and trust thereby making positive contributions to the stability and long-term development of relations between the two countries. This kind of cooperation is not only crucial to Boeing's development in the Chinese market, but is also conducive to strengthening Sino-US economic exchanges and deepening mutually beneficial cooperation between the two parties. 
It is worth noting that if Boeing cannot effectively return to the Chinese market, it will not only face the huge challenge of losing an important market, but may also encounter fierce competition from China's C919 aircraft. According to the latest statistics, the C919 aircraft has established cooperative relationships with 27 countries, a number that even exceeds the combined cooperation of Boeing and Airbus. As of the end of 2022, the C919 has received 1,035 orders from 32 customers, surpassing the number of orders for the Boeing 737 MAX. Looking forward to the next few years, with the rapid growth of China's economy and the continuous improvement of its international status, China's influence in the global aviation market will continue to expand. This trend is not only reflected in the number of cooperation and orders received by the C919 aircraft, but also in the size and growth potential of the Chinese aviation market. If Boeing cannot adapt to this change and adjust its strategy in a timely manner, its share of the global aviation market may face more severe challenges. At the same time, the C919 aircraft is gradually becoming the first choice for more and more users due to its higher cost performance and advanced technical level. In contrast, Boeing not only has to deal with challenges from competitors, but also faces increasing pressure from customer demands. If Boeing cannot launch more competitive products to meet market demand, its future share in the global aviation market may be seriously threatened. 